Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. We are back in the infected 9.3 today. Um, we'll just start calling this the shop. <laughs> I've been working on the wood shop and uh, darn it, I forgot to finish lunch first. Uh, anyway, I've been working on the wood shop and I've got some lights in. There is the ceiling. I need to put the scaffolding back in to do those windows right there. I took the scaffolding down because I closed my game. And if you close your game, save and close your game, um, the shadow floor doesn't um, hold you up anymore. So let's put the scaffolding back in. And it, it, I don't think it really matters which one you use. But I just use this one default, you know. It doesn't matter if it's lined up at all. Do I have anything on me? Not a thing. So we'll come up here. Uh, we've got uh, windows up here all the way around, except right here. I'm not sure what my decision was there. I don't remember anymore, but there was a reason why I didn't put a window right there. But there is the vault ceiling. And that looks nice. And if you look out the window here, I wish we could get out the window. There is a ledge, and then below that is the awning. And I've got railing here. Uh, this, too, of course, will go. It's in the way. So I've got some railing here. I'm still not sold on that in here. We're going to convert this floor to concrete. And I've forgotten, I think it's four. Two, three, four times five. Yeah, five. So that means I need 20, and it's six cement per floor. So that is 120 cement. I am about halfway to that point. Uh, I also brought in some forges. Uh, they don't do too much good. I think if I converted... This wall is here just to remind me not to go in there. Uh, I've gotten stuck a couple of times. But I wonder if I converted a little area into an office by taking down uh, that and putting in a full height wall. Uh, I have to move the wood to do it over there. Because uh, that'll create a ceiling, see? That might be better. And then maybe I'm just trying to find a way uh, to make this little area hold heat. Uh, and then, of course, we'll have to have, you know, a table in here. I don't know if I have any nails. Furniture? Table. That's very tiny. Furniture? <laughs> table. There we go. <laughs> A little table right there. I might put an extra lamp in here because that's going to be dark. But I think I'm at five lamps now. So that's all five of our uh, new wind turbines, which I haven't built yet. Uh, that'll make it easier for me to move that one. Just grab this one and bring it down here. There's another, uh, there's another forge right there. The thing is, is that um, if you stand right next to the forge, it's 23 degrees. You just take one step away and it drops to 14, or well, now it's 4.9 degrees. Let's get this out of here. So, all right, so there are the layers. And I posted a picture in the Discord. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. I don't know if I can carry it all. Uh, 
Oh, that was a waste of oil. I'm going to take some of that with me. No, oh, we're okay. All right, so there is the side of the building. It looks really creepy, and that's my favorite part about it. It especially looks creepy when the sun is going down. And I also thought about another way to deal with the heat problem would be to actually um, put these two in. And that might do it. But I haven't made that decision yet. Uh, I did get glass made. Now you're going to be able to see how trippy and scary it looks over there. Because the sun's going down. It does look kind of scary. But you know how the sky turns super red every night. Scary stuff. All right. Let's grab the glass and drop in the copper. Copper is something we are in low supply of. So this will help tremendously. And I think I have a box for copper ore. There it is right there. What in the world? It's not copper. That is cobalt. <laughs> Alright, let's move the cement along. Oh, I need some sand. There we go. And let's see how much cement I have. Yeah, so a little better than halfway there. And of course, now it's going to be pouring rain. Uh, what else did I get done? I got all of the iron filled, and I've got iron in a box over there. Uh, cobalt is done, and I've got some cobalt left over. You saw that. And aluminum, about a shelf and a half. So we do one, two, three. another 10 each so we can do all five of those so let's see if we have everything else we need we need to make lead that coat freaks me out every time uh, lead or oh yeah we got plenty okay that's got glass that's full that's full those are empty so I need to get the cart up here. Gosh. Never gonna be able to pick that up. We'll just go ahead and distribute some of this glass and bring the cart back with us. super loud that is. There we go. I really like the look, but it is super creepy. Uh, it's also going to take a tremendous amount of iron uh, to put these racks in. And I don't want them blended into the walls, so... Oh, that's perfect for the window. All right, that's what I was worried about. 
And remember, the reason I didn't put windows right there is because the box on top completely covers them. So I put windows up there uh, to brighten up the space during the day. All right, cart. Now the thunderstorm's over. <laughs> nope, I can still hear it. I just remembered how silly that would be. All right, let's go grab these. Getting pretty hungry. late too, 11 o'clock at night, but I think we can take the time to do this. That's why we have a headlamp to extend the day. Oh, I've got more logs. You can pick up logs if you're carrying storage uh, containers, but not with the, um, uh, let me go, but not with the rock carriers. So, it's not very many rocks. I have tons of this. Oh, there's another one. Precisely why I didn't pick that stuff up, uh, these uh, fragments, because it's just going to be uh, too much weight. Oh, four is too many. Gosh, I almost blew it there. All right. I'm going to have to come back with a crate to pick up um, all of that. So I don't have... Um, I don't have any rocks in here. That's okay. I just burned through uh, two full crates and two um, rock carriers completely full um, to make sand for glass. Dizzy. I'm dizzy. Uh, protein. I think the fish should be ready. I also went fishing. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, always checking to see what's in there because I'm always forgetting what's in there. <laughs> All right, here we go. pretty paltry supply of rocks right there uh, but I can turn uh, one of those iron uh, extractors over to rock only and that would be intense it is uh, very intense to keep those going all right we need to sleep uh, so we can get up in the morning and go hook up uh, those wind turbines And let's see here, copper. I don't need a full case, so one of these is going to go into storage. All right, there is the copper. Uh, I ran into the wall. to destroy my base. Let's see how much damage he did. It's not terrible. But they're easier to find when they're up on the deck. 
so it saves some time. All right, I think the storm is over, and all I can hear is my air conditioner right now. <laughs> there we go. I'd rather be able to hear the, the chirping of the crickets. about that all right now we need to get rid of all this oops oh that's full of iron that's full of iron there's copper thirsty I always get the hiccups when I'm thirsty. It makes me so mad. <laughs> Ouch. All right, let's get rid of all this weight so that we can carry uh, as much as possible. Uh, some of this may not have much time, 12 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me, 13 minutes, wow. Yeah, and there's no room in there, but we don't need to put uh, potatoes in the fridge anymore uh, because their expire time is, uh, oh, these only have an hour. Why, oh, the new potatoes have 12 hours. These older potatoes only have the same old time though. Okay, well, let's make some baked potatoes then. That'll make them last longer. Changing their state, changing the state of food always uh, restarts the timer. So um, that's always a good deal. That one is full. That one's full. I need to start making furniture. <laughs> There we go. Okay. We need um, aluminum. Uh, oh my God, it's all ore. That's all glass. I need empty containers sitting around. <laughs> we need to get this under control. Oops, I went right past the cement. I was up super late last night working on this, so my brain is like super scattered. I just want to get those wind turbines built I want to get extractors built, and it's taking me forever just to get to the point where I can go across the field. Uh, 53 pounds. All right. I don't think I can carry eight of those. Oops. I'm probably gonna finish all the glass uh, for that. Uh, between videos, there's a lot of harvesting um, the uh, logs to get sticks and you know, it's a lot of harvesting. There we go. We actually don't have that far to go. So, uh, yeah, cobalt and lead. We need to cook lead. That's what I forgot to do. 
It felt like I was forgetting something. <laughs> I just threw those on the ground. <laughs> it's not very good management of the wood shop there. <laughs> uh, I think I'm also going to move the grinder into the wood shop because that seems to make more sense. And let's get a little bit of lead in there. And I need to take another look at that power box because I thought that it said I only had 20 power left, but it looks like I got some of those turbines done in, uh, on some episode before I started the wood shop, no doubt. Let's take a look at these. It looks like all but three are done, which means I'm going to have to put more up. All right, let's just step off here. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, power available, 105. And so minus that, it makes it 65. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just wasn't doing the math correctly in my head. So, yeah, we can definitely start installing uh, ceiling lamps. Um, I put them in because of this new feature in 9.3 that shows um, what you have um, as far as power needs go. So you can compare power needs to um, what's available and uh, I like that and I think you can actually turn ceiling lamps off although um, I can't imagine being able to reach them to do that there is 10 of those I'm dizzy again am I out of water not at all here we go uh, let's take a look at the catalog because I know it's iron and copper. I think it's one iron and two copper. Uh, furniture. And one glass. So we need five glass, uh, three iron, and one copper. All right. So we need 15 iron, five copper, and five glass. Uh... Iron. I put some somewhere else. There it is. Uh, that's almost all of it. I think we'll take that and five copper. We'll need almost this whole box, so I might as well just take it. Here we go. I've never used these lamps before. I don't know how much light they provide, but they do provide some level of ambiance, I'm sure. Uh, birds. I forgot about the pigeons. There we go. All right. Oh, <laughs> like that wasn't very satisfying. Oh, no. There's a light. Wow, that is super bright looking. Oh, I'm going to get to the middle one. Can I reach it from here? No. I hope I don't have to build a scaffolding just to get to that. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. What in the heck? That, that's ridiculous. 
It took me three arrows to take down a wolf and one to take down a bear? Uh, I must have something wrong there. All right, well, that's okay. I'll fix it. There we go. I am super surprised at how much light that is. Well, I cannot wait till nighttime, but that's going to be some time from now. All right. Uh, let's see here. I need that box. And uh, down here, uh, we are going to construct extractors, and then I'm going to drag them to where they need to go. So we need another one uh, on cobalt. We need another one on copper. Um, oops, sorry. And I think um, I think we'll make three more. Um, so sixty screws, twenty-four nails. 24 planks and um, whatever 36 plus 18 is for iron. <laughs> My brain broke down right there. That was it. Six. There we go. I remembered right at the last second that I still had some planks on me. the roosters <laughs> might seem cool <laughs> but <it's, laughs> I used to fight it you know I used to think um, I I need to like film in the middle of the night so that they're not making the noise but they crow at 2 a.m. 4 a.m. 6 a.m. Uh, right now which is 2 p.m. they also crow at 11 a.m. and um, yeah so 2 4 6 11 2 and they crow at some point during the evening um, and I want to say it's like 6 o'clock right now that that time that they crow changes in the evening because they crow when it's time to start getting ready for bed. I'm just going to carry how much ever I can. That was one too many. <laughs> and we don't need that many nails and we need way more screws. <laughs> oh, that was too much. I forgot. Uh, let's drop the oil maybe. Nope. Bandages? Nope. More bandages? Okay. Probably going to need them now. <laughs> so this one. Alrighty. won't leave that there for long because um, wrong box uh, because I freak out thinking oh I'm not carrying any bandages on me oh that's not that's old cement and nails goes up there barely have room back here with all these boxes of glass. Here we go. I don't know how many of that I needed. 
We'll see. I'm just trying to get it done. I've been talking about doing this for days. Ah, finally. Three more extractors built. Look at all the deer. I turned on the wolves because of all the deer. <laughs> I, I know that they don't actually really hunt, but it would be nice if they did. Oh, I have lost so many arrows to that. Their head sinks in. There it is. Got that one back. Mr. Snortles is here. It's always good to see Mr. Snortles. There he is. <laughs> All right, let's put this stuff away. And uh, when we come back tomorrow, uh, we are going to be putting cement in um, on the floor. Iron. Uh, I'm going to be making iron. There we go. I have a ton of it. I have that. And I have all of that. Um, I might make some lights, but to be honest, oh, it's so early. We'll see uh, the place. Hi, Mr. Snortles. We'll see the place in the dark tomorrow. But I am super happy with how bright that is. And I'm going to put these walls in. I just decided. One more of those. Uh, what is it? Four? Eight. Yeah. I know the wood shop's supposed to be open, but it's frankly really cold in there. So I don't know if that's going to help all these extra walls, but it looks flippin' fantastic. I am in love with these lights. I had no idea they were so good, and I don't think they were that good before. And I just, I think they've just really gotten better. It seems to me the one and only time I've ever used them was on a personal save. And I remember how hard it was uh, to fire them up and, um, and to get them powered and everything. Um, so yes, like with all games, the game has gotten harder, but more complicated, but definitely way better. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are enjoying the content, enjoying this game, um, please click the like button because the more, um, the more content that a game has, the better the game does in sales. More people will buy it, more people will play it, and it does better, and that also improves the game itself because then the developer is more inspired to keep going forward. So having said that, as always, have a great day.